Hey girls! Instead of the call tonight, you get me on a video now. I'm leaving for New York City tomorrow and I have about 4,000 things to do before I leave and my in-laws will be here and I wanted to be able to go over everything with them for the boys to be gone for the rest of the week. So, you get a video instead of a live call. Um, I hope that's okay with you guys, I'm sorry. but. The good news is you don't have to stay up late and um, I don't have to talk your ear off all night. So anyway, um, what I want to talk about and what we would be talking about on the call tonight anyway is how to handle objections. You should have all watched the how to handle objections video that I posted and we all get them. We all get objections. It doesn't matter if you're Melanie Mitro, the, our, my upline coach, the number one person in the company, Lindsay Matway, who is, um, was the number one and L Melanie took her spot. Um, she's a big staple in the, the Team Beachbody company. It doesn't matter. They are a nature of the business and you will get them. It doesn't matter how good you are or how well you sell just doesn't matter. So what you can do is you can set yourself up to handle them and really try to avoid them at all costs. And that is exactly what I do. I try to set it up to where I form my conversations where I don't have to have a lot of objections, where they come knowing all of the information and a reason why the prices are where they are, or if they think they're too expensive, or if they think they're a great price, whatever it is. So um, I work very hard to build the relationships when I'm talking to potential customers, and that's what it's all about. It's to emotionally connect and build relationships. I have a customer, um, actually she's not even a customer, I have a, 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 an acquaintance of mine who I have been talking to since April, April, about it started with Shakeology, and then it moved into a challenge pack, and now she's talking about coaching. She has yet to sign up for anything, but she's on on pace and on path to sign up to be a coach when it started with Shakeology. And I follow a very simple pattern. It's called FORM, and it stands for Family, Occupation, Recreation, and Message. And this is exactly how I handle every conversation. I start with their family. I get to know them. Where do they live? Do they live around me? Do they live around somebody else? Do they have kids? How old are their kids? Boys and girls? Are they married? How long they've been married? Get personal with them. Get them talking about themselves and you will learn a lot. Um, you can also share answers to some of those questions about yourself so they can get to know you. Share insights into your life a little bit more in depth than you just show through your news feed on Facebook. But don't have the conversation be a linear conversation. But at the same time, you want to stay in control and make sure that you're doing most of the question asking. But get them to talk. Get them to open up a little bit. And the next thing that I talk about and I get to know them on is their occupation. What do they do for a living? What they tell you about what they do, that will give you a great opportunity to ask about their job. If they're happy with their job, if it's an industry that you are familiar with, then talk to them about it. If you're completely clueless, then this can be a chance to learn about it and really actively engage with them and ask them questions and be genuinely interested. Um, and by doing this, what you are trying to do is you're trying to gauge their income or their net worth and are they satisfied with their current position? Are they looking for something more financially? Are they looking for something more rewarding internally? And the next thing is recreation. And I feel like this one's easy. What do you do for fun? Where do you go on vacation? How do you spend your weekends? Um, what else do I ask? Um, do you play any sports? Do you have any hobbies? This is a really good check for some disposable income. And this will help 
gauge whether they're going to have some price objections when you talk about certain programs and um, things like that. So ask them, get involved. The last thing that I do is the message. When you feel the conversation is winding down or you're ready to move on, now it's the time to deliver your message. Now is the time to use the key things that you have learned and that they have shared with you in the conversations above during your conversation. And that will help you build trust, emotionally connect, and when they have those two things in place, they won't price object as much. They know that you truly care about them and that you are in this to help them and that you can help them. And this is a really, really good way. And this can take weeks. This is not a five, 10 minute, maybe not even a 30 minute conversation. This is over a couple weeks time. So that's why you start now for your next group and you start talking and engaging with people and building the affinity on Facebook like we talk about and expanding your network of friends and acquaintances. And if you meet somebody out, ask them, hey, you on Facebook? Let me send you a friend request. I do that all the time. And most people are like, yeah, I'm on Facebook. Go find me. Everybody wants a friend request. So I do. I send them a friend request. I stay in control. And it's easier for me to say, oh, let me find you. Okay, let me grab my phone. What's your name? What's it under? You know, because, I mean, if they're like me where it's Melissa Vertulo Beck, well, good luck trying to find that. You know, if I'm like, oh, it's Melissa Vertulo Beck. Well, if they look at Melissa Beck, they're going to find my mother-in-law. If they look up Melissa Vertulo Beck, they're going to find me. But if I introduce myself as Melissa Beck, they're not going to know to look for the Vertulo, and it won't show up without that. And, you know, it's crazy. So I stay in control. I say, oh, you're on Facebook? Let me find you. And then I can actively engage on their Facebook wall. I can send them information, and I can start the form process of building a relationship. Family, occupation, recreation, and message. And this will greatly reduce the objections that you will get when you talk to potential customers and people that could be coaches. So I hope you found this informative. And if you have any questions, post in the group. Claudia and Bria uh, have been through the apprenticeship program before. Help if I could talk. So they can answer any questions that you may have while I'm gone. If you send me a message and I don't write back, don't worry. I will get back to you on Sunday when I get home. Um, I'm going to try and do some catch-up work while we're at the airport on Sunday waiting for our flight and stuff. But um, I can't guarantee anything. I have promised my husband that I will completely disconnect. So I am disconnecting. So again, if you have any questions, you will still continue to get your daily posts but I will just not be available for anything else. But like I said, Claudia and Bria will be commenting and um, they can help you if you have any questions or need any help. So have a great rest of the week and I'll be on tonight. So I'll post any questions that you guys have or anything that you need help with and I will respond. And I hope you'll have a great rest of the week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.